Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Rob here. Welcome to the channel once again. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three undervalued Canadian high dividend yield stocks. So before we jump into the video and I show you guys what three stocks I'm going to recommend that you guys pick today, let's spend a little bit of time talking about Canadian banks. So the nice thing about Canadian bank stocks is that they've done well in the past and even though they might seem like they've been struggling lately, the real reality is that everything is struggling lately. If we take a peek at the S&P 500, we can see that over the past month or so, we've been slowly dipping down here all the way at the bottom here and in the past day, we kind of creeped up a little bit, but we're still down quite a bit uh, from when we started the month of September. And if you guys watch this channel at all, you probably know that I'm a big fan of Canadian bank stocks. And I do truly believe that Canadian banks will do well in the future and they'll do just as well as they have done in the past. In fact, if we take a peek at one of the biggest Canadian banks, TD, we can see that over a 10 period, a 10 year period, uh, TD is actually up 8.3% per year, um, which is quite good, especially if you consider the fact that we are all down negative 20% for the year of 2020. So uh, in the past, uh, Canadian banks overall have done quite well, and I still think they're going to do well going into the future. And the cool thing about Canadian banks is that they're always growing, they're well capitalized, and now that the crisis in our economy seems to at least be going down for now, uh, nobody nobody really knows what's going to happen in the future, but it seems like people are starting to deposit money, people are starting to take out loans, and banks are starting to grow in volume once again. So if you're somebody like myself who loves to invest into bank stocks, this is all really good news. Now Canadian bank stocks have had a long history of good uh, stock appreciation, but do not forget about dividend growth. Because these three top yield dividend uh, bank stocks I'm going to recommend in today's video are all stocks that have really solid good yields. And yes, I am going to recommend three Canadian bank stocks in this video. And Canadian banks have had a strong history of paying dividends in the past, and there's really no reason to think why they won't continue to do so in the future. So let's take a look at the three bank stocks I'm going to recommend to you guys in today's video. And keep in mind, all three of these bank stocks have a yield of over 5% as of right now of recording this video. All right, so the first bank stock on this list is going to be the Bank of Montreal. So Bank of Montreal is a well-diversified bank stock and its consistent growth has allowed it to be one of the big players in Canada over the past couple years. One really impressive stat that BMO has done is that they've been paying dividends, consistent dividends to their investors since 1829. That's a lot of dividends and that's a long payout history. Remember, when it comes to dividend investing, one of the most important features that you want to look for into a stock is a stock that pays out consistent dividends. You want stocks that are paying consistent dividends as well as increasing those dividends over time. That is a key aspect of dividend investing. And when it comes to growth, BMO has had an annual compound growth rate of 16 of 6% sorry, in the past 15 years. That's pretty impressive. So that basically means that in the past 15 years, BMO has increased their dividend payout by 6% each year. So with this growth over time, you can use your dividends to buy more shares and then those shares can buy more dividends and then you can buy more shares and well, you kind of get the idea of how that works. And by the way, if there's anything in this video that you guys don't understand or if you guys are new to investing, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section and feel free to ask any questions you guys might have on any of the topics that I talk about in these videos. And by the way, guys, if you are there, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you guys are enjoying it so far and if you guys want more keen investing based content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, like I said earlier, BMO is constantly growing and now that banks are starting to see business once again, people are depositing money again, people are taking out loans. I feel like it's going to grow over time and some of our bank stocks that have, might have been suffering earlier this year are starting to kind of get some of that business going back and that's always good news. As of September 26th, Bank of Montreal is currently trading at $77.98 Canadian on the TSX and it's currently sitting at about a dividend yield of around 5.44%. And if we compare uh, Bank of Montreal stock price at the start of the year, it was sitting at about $100 or so at the beginning of January 2020 and is now currently sitting at $77 Canadian. Uh, so still a long ways to go and I still think Bank of Montreal is a really, really good buy right now as I, I predict that this um, shares price will continue to rise going into the future and towards the end of 2020. The next bank stock we're going to talk about today is Bank of Nova Scotia. So I just want to let you guys know really quick that these bank stocks are not done in no particular order, uh, but I will say that I have been saving the best bank for last. And if you guys are a fan of the channel, if you watched my videos in the past, you might be able to guess which bank stock that is. 
But um, for now, let's just talk about Nova Scotia. So once again, one thing I want to briefly highlight is the fact that Bank of Nova Scotia, like all these other Canadian bank stocks that I'm going to talk about in today's video, is they've had strong, consistent dividend growth. And like I mentioned before, this is very, very important. So here's some quick stats for you. In the past 10 years, Bank of Nova Scotia's EPS has increased 8% on an annual basis. And just like Bank of Montreal, Bank of Nova Scotia's uh, annual dividend has increased by 6% per year. And that's within the last 10 years as well. So as you guys can see, um, both of these banks have been increasing their dividends at a steady rate. So if you bought dividends 10 years ago, every single year, that dividend growth would be paying 6% more. So you can see over time that this really starts to add up. And I got a cool little graph I'm going to show you guys to put that in perspective uh, when we talk about the last bank stock in this video. And because these bank stocks have done well at increasing their dividends over time, um, the best indicator we can get when it comes to predicting what's going to happen in the future, future is to look at the past. So if we can see that these bank, stock, bank stocks have increased their dividends well in the past, chances are they're probably going to do it in the future. So there's no reason to um, not invest with them today. I think Canadian bank stocks are some of the best dividend stocks to invest into. And with the economy growing and getting back to where it was earlier this year and towards the end of last year, I think BNS is going to increase over time and their bottom line should, should start to grow as well as these other Canadian bank stocks that I've talked about. So as you guys can see here, Bank of Nova Scotia is currently trading at about $54.46 Canadian and its dividend yield is actually one of the higher ones at 6.61% here. Uh, and it's actually probably the highest uh, dividend yield that we cover in this video for our bank stocks. Towards the beginning of 2020, we can see here that Bank of Nova Scotia was trading at about $70 to $72 Canadian, and it's currently sitting at about $54 Canadian. So uh, Bank of uh, Nova Scotia did get hit pretty hard by the pandemic, and it still has a long, a long road to recovery to get to the levels it was at, at towards the beginning of this year. But I do think, once again, there's lots of opportunity. I think that as business goes up and as things start to open and things get back to normal and the economy is slowly recovering, uh, the share price should go up and we should start to see some nice gains um, from Bank of Nova Scotia. So I briefly talked about Bank of Montreal and Bank of Nova Scotia in this video so far. And I told you guys I've been saving the best bank stock for last. So here's the last bank stock I'm going to talk about. And this bank stock is... TD Bank Stock. So we're going to start this one off with a bank. Here's a cool fact for you. TD Bank Stock has been paying dividends for over 164 years. So when it comes to a stable um, dividend, that's pretty much the definition right there. 164 years is a really long time. And check out this super cool graph that I managed to get a hold of. By the way, guys, I'll link to this document. You guys can check out in the description of the video. It shows a lot of cool facts about TD. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about here is the consistent earning potential of TD. As you guys can see over the past about five to six years or so that we have in this little graph here, you can see that every single year TD has been increasing in revenue. 2014, you guys can see here, it's pretty small at the bottom here. And you can also see that this little green bar is Canadian retail. This green one is US retail. And then this dark, dark green one is wholesale banking. And you can see over time, all these things have just been increasing. And the one thing I really like to see is that their US retail, this little silver bar here, has also been steadily increasing over time. And I think this is what's really allowed TD to actually grow, especially within the last couple, last year or so, which has been really, uh, really been a hard time for banks. And I think going into 2020, uh, towards the end of 2020 and 2021 and, and so forth, I think the US banking retail, the US retail market is, is what's really allowing TD to grow because they already have a lot of the Canadian market and now they're building upon that US market to, to grow their earnings even further. So I think TD has done a great job of doing that. And I like to see these, earning, er, these earnings that they've had over the past little while. And of course, the coolest graph of, uh, of all is the strong, consistent dividend history that TD has, has. So some quick facts here. TD introduced a drip discount at 2% in 2020. Um, a dividend yield is currently sitting at around 5%, and its target payout range is around the 40 to 50%, uh, which is kind of hovering in, give or take. And as you guys can see here, I'm just going to zoom out a tiny bit so we can see this graph a little bit better. And beginning of 2000, TD had an annual dividend yield of 0.46 cents per share. With a 10% annualized dividend growth, 20 years later, that, 
that same, so those stocks and shares that you bought in early 2000 would now be paying you a dividend of $3.00 and one cent. So as you guys can see, that is absolutely crazy growth. That is a lot of growth over a long period of time. So if you would have invested with TD throughout all these years, your your dividends, your growth would have been huge. And this is the earnings potential, the long-term earnings potential of good solid dividend stocks. And I think TD is just one of those great stocks that have a really, really good history. And there's no reason why it's not going to continue to grow going into the future, especially over the past 10 years or so. As you guys can see, the dividend growth has been huge. TD is currently trading at about $61.32 on the TSX and its dividend yield like I mentioned earlier is about 5.15%. And over the past year, you can see that TD has been hit hard, just like pretty much every other bank stock by quite a bit. Before the pandemic, it was trading at about $75 Canadian, and now it's trading at about $60 to $61 Canadian, but it's already recovered quite a bit, and there's still a little bit of room for growth, and I think it's going to do well in the future. So I think this is probably one of the most underrated Canadian stocks, uh, specifically underrated Canadian uh even not just Canadian, but like worldwide bank stocks, I think TD has tons of potential and I think they're very, very underrated and I think it'd be very, very smart to invest in TD right now. So with TD's earnings slowly crawling back and starting to increase and their solid payout ratio sitting around that 40 to 50% range, I expect that TD will do a good job at growing and they should do a good job at growing their dividend going into the future as well. In fact, if we look at this other little piece of information, this cool little graph here, we can see that T TD's payout ratio is kind of around that 40 to 50% range, and that's a very, very sustainable dividend going into the long term. That's a very nice stuff to see, especially in times like these where everybody is suffering losses and the economy is really, really having a hard time. In conclusion, TD is one of the fastest growing bank stocks, not only in Canada, but also in the world, and their strong balance sheet shows that these guys know what they're doing, and I think they're going to be one of the fastest growing banks going into the future over the next couple years. Overall, all three of these bank stocks are pretty solid picks. I mean, if they weren't, I probably wouldn't recommend them in this video, but if I was to pick a favorite, I'd definitely go with TD. TD is by far my favorite bank stock, and I talk about them all the time, but I'm truly passionate about TD, and I think it is going to be one of those, one of the best bank stocks uh, going into the future. Nonetheless, all these other bank stocks, and probably the top six bank stocks in Canada, are all good buys, and I have faith that they're going to do well going into the future. So that's it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what your favorite bank stock is. Let me know what your favorite Canadian bank stock is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching today, guys. I'll see you guys later. and Have a good day.